Okay, we're going to look at another statistical test that we'd use with surveys. We open up this document um, that says choosing a statistical test. We went through some of the ones in the left hand column. Um, so, for example, with this dependent t test, when we were using that, it was comparing pre and post test scores, or where you have one group of scores and, and or one group and two sets of scores. If we have a survey or ranked data, ordinal data, we can do the same thing. And that version is called a Wilcoxon test. We're comparing pre and post ordinal scores, one group, two sets of scores, that kind of thing. So this is the non-parametric version of this. So you have a document in here called Wilcoxon test. This is module seven. So we're going to go back to our locus of control study. And we measured students' locus of control for a group of high school students and provided some kind of information, intervention and we want to see if we can increase their locus of control. And in this example, we're going to assume a higher locus of control score indicates an internal locus of control. The many measures, but for now, we're going to focus on the difference for all students. Our null hypothesis would be that pre-locus control scores are equal to post-locus control scores. So use the same data about the high school students, the grade level, the gender, pre-test scores, post-test scores. And what you're going to do, this is on your sheet, so you can go to Analyze, Non-Parametrics, Legacy Dialogues, Two Related Samples. I'm going to reset this, highlight the two things you want to compare, and hit OK. And you get something that looks like this. I'll go back to your sheet so we're all looking at the same thing. So what it's doing is it is comparing post-test scores, locus control, to pre-test scores. And there's something called negative ranks positive ranks and ties. And what it's doing is it's looking at these scores and how many times the post-test is greater than the pre-test in situations where the pre-test is greater than the post-test. So the times when the post-test is ranked lower than the pre-test is labeled as A. That's right here. The times when the post-test is greater than the pre-test is labeled as B, and that's called a positive rank. And there are some people who put the same score twice, and that's called a tie. So that is there. There's 28 total participants. They rank all these up. So there's the number of times that the positive outweighs the negative, and how many times that counts as one of the ranks. Then, of course, it does a statistical test to see if the number of times that this happened really outweighs the, the number of times this one happened, really outweighs the number of times this one happened. So here's our significance level. And that way we know for sure that not only was there a difference, there was a significant difference. So evidently, for all students, our intervention worked. Now, is that good enough? Well, because of the capabilities of this, we might want to know some other things. One of our other studies is done on gender. So what if we want to know for males, is there a significant difference in growth? What would be our hypothesis here? Is, it from, is the male student score equal to the, or is the male student pretest score equal to the male student post-test score? So to figure out how to do that, we of course need to use this tool where we have our if condition satisfied. So if gender and equals one, hit OK. Now, we only have the males selected. Close my old output and analyze this again. Now 
that's already set up. So now the post test outweighs the pretest on every indicator. There's 15 males. That happened for every single one of them. So that's a significant level. So on your Wilcoxon test, when you run that, you ought to get something like that. Same thing. We can do this again on females. And we do to do that. Now we're going to save that. We're going to switch this to females. And run it again. And you should get this. So for females, it makes a difference. It makes a difference for all students. It makes a difference for male students. It makes a difference for female students. It works on everybody. So at the end of this, I'll write this up, give an example of what this looks like, and then send you a practice test, give you a chance to do one of these. And that's it.